Hi, I'm certified nutrition consultant Catherine with Foods That Heal You and Foods That Heal You CBD. And today I'm going to talk about nutritional supplements and help you simplify your nutritional supplement protocol and how to use them correctly. A lot of you out there probably have huge cabinets full of nutritional supplements for all different sorts of things. You probably only use half of them at most. So it's a big waste of money and it's not really getting you what you need. So I'm here to help you simplify your cabinet and your nutritional supplements and explain to you how to build on a good foundation, how you do this or how you set it up. So the analogy I'm going to use is the alphabet. So you have the alphabet with all the letters, right? And I have some of them up here. In order to form words, you need all the different letters for different words. In the alphabet, there are some letters that are going to be used more often. The vowels, right? But you still need all of the letters. All right, so the same goes with nutrition. You need all of the nutrients. Some nutrients you may need more of than others, but you still need a foundation. What I'm teaching is foundational nutrition. You want to get your good foundation like you build your house on a good foundation. You don't start building the second floor or putting the bathtub in the bathroom until you have a good foundation, okay? So with foundational nutrition, I look for something that has a broad spectrum of nutrients that are food source that's really crucial and then if I can I try to find something that has some key nutrients in that foundational supplement that almost everybody needs okay for example I have this is a brand new product formulated it's called daily greens all in one I love this product because it's each nutrient or each herb is is lab tested for purity and this is all food sourced with key herbs to support immune system detox, liver, uh, weight loss, a lot of different things that people are looking for. But the key thing is it's pure, every ingredient's lab tested, and it's food sourced. I cannot e express more how important food sourced is. Our body knows how to absorb, digest and absorb food and nutrients, not synthetic lab chemicals. For example, vitamin C. Vitamin C, if you look on your bottle, you probably see ascorbic acid. That is a chemical. That is not true vitamin C from a plant. Our bodies are designed to digest and absorb nutrients that are from plants, that are, that are actual food, okay? And, and real quick before I forget, foundational nutrition does have to start with diet. I'm not recommending you replace anything in your diet with a green powder, okay? That's one thing that I've always kind of been leery of with green powders is that people tend to think it's going to replace their fruits and vegetables. It does not. You cannot be healthy if you don't have a good healthy diet, high in fiber, high in plant nutrients, high in fruits and vegetables, okay? You want to start there. That's step one, no matter what. Then the second step is a supplement like the daily one, the, the daily greens that are going to have a little bit of everything to help supplement, keyword supplement, your diet, all right? And some of the key nutrients in the daily greens that I like that I have not found in any other green supplement are vitamin C is one key nutrient and it's food sourced. Uh, it's berries and it's food sourced uh, over 400% of your daily allowance. And I have done urinalysis tests for people, for clients. Almost everyone is vitamin C deficient. It's crazy. So that's a key nutrient that a lot of people are just deficient in that we need a little bit of extra. And I don't like taking a bunch of bottles of pills. So that's in the daily greens. Then you've got B complex. In the daily greens, there's methylated. If you're familiar with that term, methylated B complex makes it easier to digest, but it's food sourced. A lot of B vitamins are made from tar and feces. Literally, I'm not kidding. It's disgusting. You want food source B vitamins so your body can utilize it. A lot of people are stressed out, and that's the key nutrient need when you're stressed out. One of the key nutrients is B complex because it supports the adrenal glands by nourishing them rather than caffeine or sugar are going to whip the horse. They are going to stimulate your adrenal glands and make it worse. B vitamins actually nourish and give you natural sustaining energy. So food source B complex, another key nutrient I look for, and these are daily needs, okay? Everybody needs these, are probiotics. So probiotics are, are help your gut bacteria. They help populate your gut Bacteria, you can eat fermented foods. Like I said, diet first. Kombucha tea is terrific. Kimchi, sauerkraut. But it's always great to have some additional probiotics because if you're taking medication, you eat sugar ever, <laughs> or you go out to eat, 
all of those things destroy gut bacteria so you're at ground zero again and you need to start over again every single day so it can't hurt to get a good probiotic in your diet on a regular basis okay and then omega-3 fats that's another key nutrient i look at the reason is because the standard american diet is really high in omega-6 too high and omega-6 causes inflammation sunflower oil all vegetable oils people are buying chips thinking that healthier oil are going to be healthier that's not the case chips are chips they're all garbage they all cause inflammation so you're looking for omega-3 chia seeds flax seeds hemp seeds and that's what the daily greens has a little bit of that too so it's just a little bit all right of everything that you're going to need and help support in key areas it also has some herbs to help support immune system detox weight loss different things like that all right so that's a good foundation so the daily greens is a great example and i and i do have this on my website foods that heal you.com it's going to be uh standalone or as part of my wellness packages that i'm going to put together but you're going to have the key new the the foundation plus the key nutrients and then the next thing you do so if you notice right now the only thing you're taking is a daily green that's it once a day that's all i take plus one other supplement personally then you target deficiencies this is where people are reversing this they're going out and buying well i'm deficient in magnesium i'm deficient in vitamin d3 and well if you got your foundation first you might find that you won't be deficient in these nutrients so you start out with the foundation like the daily greens and then you find out do i need extra am i still deficient in magnesium am i still deficient in d3k2 i've had people asking me why i don't have the d3k2 on my website anymore the reason is two reasons one is it's a targeted nutritional supplement and i am a bigger fan of starting with foundational nutrition and then you can go to your doctor get a blood test find out if you need additional vitamin d3 if they say yes then that's when you go out and get the additional uh, and then you can get a blood test again and find out if it's working for you uh, another targeted nutrient would be cbd oil if you're stressed out and you have pain inflammation anxiety things like that the cbd can help target a specific cannabinoid deficiency but you start out with the foundation and you might find out that just by changing your diet your inflammation your pain your anxiety is probably going to go down just from making dietary changing and it changes and adding a really good solid foundational nutritional supplement like the daily greens i'm going to put it over here <laughs> like the daily greens and then you can go ahead and target the deficiency as you see this is going to really narrow down what you're doing in your day the only supplements i take i take the daily greens I take fulvic ionic minerals because the fulvic ionic minerals there are some in the daily green so this is the first thing that you want to start with the fulvic ionic minerals help open the cell wall to allow these nutrients to get into the cell if your cell is all crusted over and you drink vegetable juice how is that juice going to get in inside it, it can't if you have a lot of toxic waste build up so the fulvic ionic minerals in this and if you buy additional separate it's going to help open take, remove that crusty shell and open up the cell now the nutrients get in and the toxic waste gets out so it opens the door it makes the cell more permeable there's enough in here to get these nutrients in and get the toxic waste out but if you want additional support you have that option as well for your vegetable juice or your smoothie or if you just want to put it in your detox drink or whatever however you want to do that so those are my two foundational supplements and then i personally also take cbd hemp oil as a targeted nutritional supplement so as you can see my cabinet is not full of a bunch of pills and bottles it's really simple i am a huge proponent and fan of simple if you've watched my other videos okay so hopefully that helps better explain and help you better set up your nutritional protocol so that it's simple and not overwhelming we don't need any more or overwhelming stuff in our lives all right so you can find this greens on my foods that heal you.com i also have the cbd on foods that heal you cbd.com you're always welcome to join us on facebook i'll have links below this video and you can email support at foods that heal you.com if you have any questions all right thanks you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video